Hi, good morning. My name is Rodrigo Lopez and I'm currently in ninth grade. And today I'm going to explain why do people believe in conspiracy theories. Now, I know that this topic may sound a little bit odd, but have you truly wondered in a psychological perspective why someone may believe in a conspiracy theory? This curiosity is dedicated to Carl Sagan. We need to first define what is a conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory is a belief that explains an event or set of circumstances as the result of a secret plot by usually powerful conspirators. They are normally composed or wrong on and on empirical claims or possibilities that are so unlikely to be true. In summary, they are a pseudoscience. They claim to be factual and true while they lack proper evidence and they don't follow the scientific method. A conspiracy theory is not actually a scientific theory because it, la uh, it, it isn't backed with evidence, but rather uses this definition in its colloquial terms. We can A perfect example of a conspiracy theory is the flat earth model, since we have gathered centuries worth of information that the earth has a roundish elliptical shape. So why do people believe conspiracy theories? From a psychological point of view, people believe conspiracy theories for several reasons, but they can be they can be categorized in the following groups: the need to control uncontrollable events. Uh, people like to take action, especially when they don't know what they're looking, what they're fighting for. Uh, for, for example, uh, someone doesn't like to be at mercy, doesn't like to be at the mercy of fate. So they try to explain or make a reason. The second is the capacity to jump to the conclusion directly. They normally start with a conclusion and then graph the evidence, which supports their already made conclusion. This is a completely wrong uh, uh, following of the scientific method. The third is the feeling of belonging in a social group. Humans by nature are a, a social creature. So we like to be in their in, in our respective social groups but since their respective social groups believe their same thing they may believe that theirs uh, they are right while others that think differently are wrong so they create this creates a narcissistic personality in some cases which may not even look at the other sides a perspective. This is out my uh, my sources in MLA format, and that's it. Thank you for watching.